it out, man. Just alchemist. The God right here. Don't pee, don't pee right here, you know what I'm saying? And don't be scared to get shitty, man. You know what I'm saying? UGTV is going down. It's good, y'all. This is Music Soul Channel right now. You are checking out Urban Grind TV. What up, man? This is Ludacris, and right now you are watching UGTV. What's happening? It's the Teflon Don Ricky Rouse. And right now you rocking with Urban Grind TV. It's going down. Flock, flock, man. Flock, Billings, the whole 10 by 10 minutes. UGTV don't go nowhere. Yo, what's up? It's Eric Sermon, the Green Eye Bandit in Chi-Town. UGTV, you know how I do all day. Represent that. You know what time it is. Hey, Joel Santana, and right now you checking out Urban Grind TV. Dipset for life, spell gang forever, slow bugs, keep up. Ooh. What's up, it's the Patty Cake Man, and you are watching UGTV right here. It's Big Snoop Dogg, Urban Grind TV, you understand me? Urban Grind TV, face mob in the building. I'll let your motherfucking boy. It's Killer Cam, King Joffy, Joe, Spacey, Sparkers, and late night you watch watching Urban Grind TV, you know what it is, Big Set, you win. Yo, check it out, y'all, what's the deal? This Ray Kwan, the chef, and you doing it big right now on Urban Grind TV. What's good, man? It's the God. You know what it is. You watching UGTV. Yo, what's up? It's DA to the Z, Urban Grind. You know what I mean? Television keeping y'all updated. Get on the log, log in, email us, holler back. It's DA to the Z right here, Chicago, baby. That I made it when I left there. Sorry to whoever anticipated my death there. You die, they hope. Don't sleep, stay woke. The more money you get, the more shuffle. They broke. Catch you bullet in your culo. Uh, in the hood, that's how they do though. This ain't nothing new, yo. It's a lot of love in here. Uh, my name is Andrew Barber from Fake Shore Drive. Uh, thank you guys for having me. Uh, I'm gonna talk to Kiss a little bit about the album, then uh, we'll ask a couple questions, have the audience ask a couple questions. Uh, first, I kinda wanna kick it off with the title, Top Five Dead or Alive. Now, I believe the first time I heard you use that in a verse, it was on the Made You Look remix, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, so what kind of inspired that? Now, I know that was on the heels of, right after Eminem shouted you out until I collapsed. And he named his top 10, and you were in that. Wow. Yeah. And that was pretty crazy. That was a crazy time. So can we go back and kind of circle back to that that time and, and what led you to, to claim um, top five? It's really just like a nickname or like something that the, the fans and the people attach to me, you know? And um, after the Major Look remix, that's the first time I actually think I said it in a, in a verse. And then just kind of stuck with me. I actually went on Twitter though and asked them, my fans, should I change it? You know, I think like, I'd, um, back then I only had probably like 900,000 followers. Just only, only but, um, <laughs> Yeah, and only like eight or nine of them said that I should change it from the top five, so I left. Right. You know, um, the top five, whenever you speak of that, is a good conversational piece, because real hip hop heads, are, have more than five. It's hard to cram your whole life of favorite artists and just in the five artists. You even hear on M song, he had ten that he named. Right. So right. it's hard to name five. But whenever you pull up that or mention the top five, it's it's sort of like a religious argument. Like it could go on. It's never ending. Just somebody say we gotta go or turn the lights off or something. So. It's good conversation. I see the the video went up on World Star and they were going yeah, crazy. Crazy, yeah. <laughs> they were going crazy in the comments about it. But you know, um, I do have to ask though, where's the bust? The bust from the album cover. I see you've been um, touring around with the. Nah, I've been flying actually. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I, I get on Can't my tour bus tomorrow in Atlanta. Yeah, so I ain't really want to. I ain't want to bring it around. I'm gonna bring it back when I come back right, and do the show. Right, right, right. I'm okay. Bring it back. So it looks nice though. Yeah, no, it's amazing. I, I mean, I, I didn't think they were gonna let you carry it on, but yeah, no, it's mine. I can, <laughs> I can do what I want with it. I just got too many bags anyway. Right. So, so we'll be on tour. Yeah, it's gonna be on. They got his own bunk on. Are you gonna come back through Chicago for a show? Yeah, I'm gonna come back do some more show. I'm gonna come back and do the show uh, closer to the album or after the album. Just check, you know, check on my social media. Check in here. And have info about the venues, but I definitely gotta come back. I gotta get a flick with that. No doubt. Right. Um, so let's talk about the album. The album yeah. comes out, uh, top five the 20th. Comes yeah. out next week. 
uh, two weeks. The 20th. So yeah. it's next week. Ten next days week. from today, right? Yeah. So let's talk about the album. It's your fourth on a major label, your second on Def Jam. Yeah. Right? yeah. So shout out to Def Jam, right? Shout out to the Universal System. Right. And, you know, it's a testament to you really being a top five MC, the fact that. You know, you started in the 90s and you're still on a major now, you know, dropping like this. It's, a, it's an amazing thing. What, was I supposed to get dropped? <laughs> no, I'm saying. Now I'm only No, but you know, a lot of a lot of cats from that era are still not on majors anymore. I mean, yes, yeah, it's, it's a lot of cats from that era are still not on nothing anymore. <laughs> but um, that's just a blessing, you know, me, I try to... I keep saying I embrace all of the new cats. You know, I do songs with, if you look at my resume, I do songs with all of the new cats before they get on Billboard or before they get to America's Eye. I like to sit down, and have one-on-ones with them, let them know that, yo, I'm giving you real, I'm doing this because I feel your movement, not because you all over the blogs or you, you know what I mean, you creating some heat for yourself, so. Recognize when you do blow up, or if you blow up, that you know everybody's not going to be real with you. So I'm just, you know, I always instill that in all the new cats. And I think that gives me legs, though, because I don't, I embrace everything, even if it's not my cup of tea. I still listen to it. I still absorb it. I still show them everybody the same love, and you know, I think that's important. Do you want flex like me? Do you want to floss like me? Do you want to shine like me? Do you need to grind like me? We gon' flex a little bit, shine a little bit, shine a little bit. We gon' dance a little bit, we gon' vibe a little bit. What's up everybody, it's your girl Kiana. I'll be performing December 12th at Bridge South High School in Richmond Park alongside my boy Michi performing my new single Flex A Little Bit. Come out, turn up, bring everybody. You do not want to miss this event. I ain't been out in a minute. Never been off over here. You be finessing boy, you make a girl turn up up in here. OrangeMixtapes.com Hey, what it do? This your boy OJ the Jew, man. I want to give a shout out to EarnMixtape.com Yeah, what's happening, man? Scott ATL in the building. Shout out to OrangeMixtapes.com OrangeMixtapes.com Young world, what's poppin', man? It's Rocky Diamonds. OrangeMixtapes.com Go get your latest mixtapes, man. Yeah! OrangeMixtapes.com MH to the, the Pride of the East Side, DJ slash host for Urban Grind TV. Got my own segment of the show right now called The Booth, and we get some of the hardest artists in the city to come through, and they spit that fire inside of here. If you want to be a part of the show, go to UrbanGrindTV.com and click on The Booth. DJ MH to the, that's how we do it. Let's go, Shot Town, stand up. Yo, this wild style, whipping up my new album, The Concoction. 
physic, I'm only here for a visit Been up in the lab, experimenting, it's been a minute Before I begin it, I'm ready to end it with a bang No, it ain't a theory, I'm bringing a fury in the flame Like a sharpshooter, period, featuring crucial conflict Shug Health, Danny Boy, and Hearthstone Get down to position, it ain't gonna be no missing When I aim one shot, one kill That's all I need, y'all gon' And I'm up with the flow, the vocal calico I'm an animal, fire your brain like Hannibal I'm a cannibal, wicked with the mechanical Slim like a piano, we're about to blow out your candle I hit him like a soprano, I got him on every channel They old news, I'll be with my new But I'm old school Available at wildstylemusic.com iTunes, Google Play Or wherever you purchase your digital music Support the grind November 2015, you dig? On Gladiator Empire Kennedy, yeah. 10 pair of Prada's got the swag on infinity, the hottest from the shop, bet these niggas gon' remember me, until the competition, pussies rest in peace, fuck about some music, boy, I send them where you sleep, a nigga got bars, life sentence, fuck a plea, can't a rapper fuck with me, we gon' say that publicly, and if life is a bitch, where she looking lovely, homie wife in that one, well, really, she fucking me, and if you really ill, then you heard of Billy ill, boy, we be making hits like we playing Wrigleyville, this that real shit, this that real shit, but niggas only feel it when you saying you kill shit, but we ain't hearing that, homie, they gon' feel this, all oh, hundred time, keep it 100, that's that real shit, that's that real shit, all I don't wanna hear, tell them point me to the money, that's that real shit, that's that real shit, that's that real shit, that's that real shit. Comiskey nigga on my US cellular. If you talking what you risking, nigga, it's a difference in the numbers. Fireworks go off every time I'm home running and we playing batter up when we don't usually hold nothing. Take a walk, you can't pitch around here. Ain't no crying in eight balls, can't pitch up out here. Swear to God, on my soul, I got angles in the outfield. On my little nigga's baby burn. It's kind of hard when they get that old From a system they created But they wanna act slow Then they show up with cameras Whenever it's some shit Acting surprised when they the ones Who wrote the script So, so, so We flipping on them I'm the GM Just got in the web Ain't even put the pistons on them Hot top Air Force ones like she Don't get made an example out of IE This that real shit This that real shit But niggas only feel it when you say you kill shit But we ain't hearing that, homie, they gon' feel this All oh, on the top, keep it 100 That's that real shit That's that real shit I don't wanna hear it, tell them point me to the money That's that real shit That's that real shit That's that real shit That's that real shit I'm just a swag nigga, aka a bitch getter And a man such a pussy, I should get him cat litter Stuntin' on these niggas, flexin' on these hoes Tell them I don't wanna hear it if it ain't about some dope Cause I could care less about a nigga hatin' on me More money for me, boy, I don't need it Holla, homies, boy, I mean what I said All a nigga need is bread Cause when I'm in the grave, I don't get a bunk bed Tell them gonna fuck head, nigga miss me with that I just get it and stack it now I'm going Walter Payton now I'm running it back, talking to 40 flat Niggas doing good, boy, man, pass the quota And these bitches say they love me, got me feeling like Sosa All my niggas riding, we don't need, need a motor Put me on the track, nigga, that's that kill switch Me and Billy, the realest nigga, that's that real shit Watching UGH 
TV. All right, Urban Grind TV, we are here with the vet of the family. Hustle uh, Simmons, how you doing? Be, oh, they call me a vet. No, it's just because you show so much love to Urban Grind uh, TV. She's the best looking person who's ever interviewed me. For Yay! And he, you've been, you've been in it. No, outside of John, maybe John. Shout out. Uh, thank you so much, obviously, for taking the time out to speak with Urban Grind and uh, the city of Chicago. Obviously, we know you're doing some big things. We are here at Leaders. Uh, and Jada Kiss just, like, spoke some knowledge to a whole bunch of people at Leaders. Uh, shout out to Jada Kiss, man. Like... He spoke knowledge to the artists. Shout out to Leaders and Dev Jam. Shout out to my man Drew over at Dev Jam, man. It was good. Absolutely, yeah. And I mean, obviously you've been here in Chicago your entire life. How important do you do you feel that it is that, you know, artists as as influential as Jada Kiss is coming out here and speaking some knowledge to yeah. our city? I mean, it's, it's very important. I mean, Chicago's popping right now. So, I mean, back in the day, people don't understand, like, Artists had to come through Chicago and they promo run. So to see artists like Jada Kiss come through here and, and talk to the youngins and do songs with the young artists, it's amazing. Um, I just hope they really listen to him and see he's he been in the game um, 15 years, almost not longer than that, probably 20 years. Yeah. So it's like to see somebody of his stature come through and still move like an independent artist, like. Man, it's, it's, it's super dope. Super dope for Chicago. All the love that Jada Kiss is coming out. I mean, he gave every single person uh, a chance to talk that really did want to talk to him. I mean, obviously, you work with artists all the time as well. You do Hustle Palooza. What's going on with that right now? Uh, I just did a Hustle Palooza with OG Mako uh, during Halloween. I did 11 Hustle Palooza this year. I got, uh, I'm got i about to do one next month in Detroit, like a little pop-up joint. But, no, nah, Hustle Palooza has been dope. We're doing a whole tour next year. We're doing, uh, we're doing 12 of them. So the first one kicks off in January. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. Um, my artist I'm managing doing great, Martin Sky. Um, he's about to drop a new song. He has a sold out show in LA with Vince Staples coming up on uh, the 24th of November. Um, my girl, Ashley Banks, she's dropping her EP on the 17th called The Morning After. And then- Shout out to Ashley Banks, I know her. Ashley Banks is, is killing right now. I think she's in LA right now. Then I got, you know, YP, he's doing his thing. Um, uh, I got a girl named Mia Sparrow out of DC. She sings and rap like she's dope. Just all the artists doing their thing, man. I'm just I'm just happy right now. I'm just in a good space. All the music is clicking and Chicago's is starting to kind of like get it. So you know it's been dope. But shout out to Hustle Bluesers. It'd be a bunch of them coming up next year. Go to hustlebluesers.com. You can find out about them. Right. And you guys, honestly, like you've been out here working just like on, on so much more of just uh, outside of music, you know, fashion and yeah. and and getting yourself in the network, not only in Chicago. What type of advice do you have for, um, you know, people who are looking towards building outside of the city? Uh, it's all about net. I mean, it's all about relationships. So it's not like I'm like, I mean, I'm like the smartest mog ever. I mean, I am smart, but. I pretty much You're pretty smart. Yeah. I, you know what? I built my career on social media. I've been I've been able to effectively use Twitter and MySpace and Facebook. I started in MySpace, but uh, you didn't start yeah. with MySpace. I kind of miss MySpace. Miss cool. MySpace was more about the artist. I met everybody on MySpace. That's how I met my brother Wale on MySpace. So, I mean, the best advice I can say is like start using social media for more networking and less talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I talk. Don't nobody, don't nobody want to hear about your personal yeah. problems on the internet. Oh, like I meet a lot of people on, on, on social media. I met Wale back when I was in college and been like, he's been my brother ever since. Like, I met a lot of people, even people before they blew up. You know, when I met him, I met him like a month before he dropped Nike boots. So then, you know, he had just dropped Ice Cream Girls. So. Um, use social media, maintain those relationships. Like, stop trying to impress your homies all the time and get on those planes. Stop buying them Jordans. Hop on a plane. Go to go to these conferences and meet people and look them in the eye and say what's up and introduce yourself. But it's all about relationships. Right. And I honestly, I feel like you have you've done a great job with just completely branding yourself into uh, everything that is that you know everything that is you know entertainment and and positivity. And look, you know, he's you're coming out showing some love to Irvin Grind, which obviously I've done we like love I've done like thirty. Thirty interviews are Urban Grind. I love Urban Grind. But it's different every single time. It's different every time. Like they, they've been at a majority of my show. We've done South by. Uh, I did a show with Camp Low, Rocky Fresh, and Stolly before the MMG stuff years ago. Urban Grind was there when I tackled a man off the stage at the Big Sean show. Urban Grind was there. <laughs> you know what? Let me, let, you know, talking about that. Honestly, you know, the city of Chicago. You, here at Urban Grind, we're from the city. You know, so so we know we see the violence that's going on. How can how do you feel that uh, Chicago shows, especially Chicago shows, because you know, being around the music and and do, going all these shows, violence does tend to be around. What can Chicago do to kind of eliminate that? 
leave that bullshit at the crib. <laughs> like, we do these shows, it's for people to get their dreams out, to have a good time. It's not to to rep your gang or bring your gun or fight some nigga that you can't find on the block to fight. So, but the thing is, with Chicago, with the violence going on and then the artist is blowing up, anytime something happens in Chicago, it's like, it's on TV, it's blown out of proportion. Like, I've seen more shows in out-of-town shows in, in Chicago, so... You know, even with me getting jumped at South by, it just, you just never know, like, how somebody gonna feel. But at the end of the day, I just handle myself like, like a king at all times. And it's, and it's, and it's, if I have to, if, if you put in a position where you gotta throw them hands, throw them hands. But, you know, you don't have to pick up no gun and no, no, no stupid shit like that. But, I mean, it's just, it is what it is. It happens, it happens in New York, it happens in LA, it happens in Atlanta. Um, Wherever you go, anywhere, everywhere in the United States. And that's, I mean, I honestly, I, I commend you for, for how you handled yourself. And you also demanded the respect. Of, it's. Uh, let me tell you something real quick. It is not easy being the host because the host of the show, let me tell you, the host is the security, the oh, right, stage manager. There you, right, you have to. You gotta that's why the fight broke out. They, they thought that I was just the host. So when I told them they could perform, they just thought I was just like some like minion or something. I'm like, nah, this ain't hustle palooza. I'm hustle. You can't perform. And then they got they got they got perturbed. And then you know what happened? What happened? But and then Chicago kind of like showed its face, but it's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's okay. You 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 make us proud, hustle. Thank, Thank you so much for you know always this. Right? Where's Mike Terra? So this is Mike Terra. This is Mike Terra. So so let me what tell up? you let me tell you a story about Mike Terra. One of the one of the events that helped kick kickstart my career was actually me and him was drunk at um, Jet Vodka Lounge once, and then I don't know why we was on the phone afterwards. I had an idea for something. No, actually, it was like the next day. I think he had to work at the time, and we was talking on the phone. I was like, "Yo, man, I want to do like an event, this like juke party." And he was like, "Yo, you call the Juker for Jesus." And I was like, "Word!" And I called the Juker for Jesus, and I caught so much hell. But it was like one of the illest events. And then, like, that kicked out my my career, so I owe a lot to this man. And Mike Terra, and I, I mean, Mike Terra's been a part of right. He writes for people. Right. Talk, talking about ghostwriting, he got some ghostwriting credits for some people. I ain't gonna say no names. Real quick, no, let's talk about it. Real quick, let's talk about that. Um, real quick, let's talk about that. I mean, you have been in the game for quite some time. Obviously, Urban Grind TV, you... You've been, you be, you know about us, and of course, Chicago knows about Mike Terror. What you've been doing most recently? You know what, uh, what's been going on? Uh, I'm opening a studio called Studio 23. Uh, I've been on the road lately on the the late pass tour. We just got back from Kalamazoo like two days ago. That was shout out to right, shout out to Kalamazoo. That's, there's it's a lot of fun up there. Kalamazoo is very turnt. I, I F's with Kalamazoo. You know what, and that's one thing about, you know, both with Hustle and with, uh, no, but no, both with Hustle and with Mike Terror is that you guys are going not only to these big cities, you go, you guys are going to these smaller cities, to you know, to these whole dunk places that don't have shows. And I think that that is brilliant because not everywhere in the city, you know, you come to Chicago and there's so much things to do in the city of Chicago. But you get come from most small cities and big cities. Right. There's nothing to come through there. So like right. some of Mike Terror most diehard fans is Kansas, you know what I'm saying? Oklahoma, stuff like that. Because they're about the culture and they don't have the access to get watered down by seeing every rapper and their mama come through their town. So you gotta go through and, and show love. Like it's easy to rock in New York or LA, but if you can go to like <laughs> Uh, Des Moines, uh, De Des Moines, Iowa, and, and rock and show. Like, right, and they all going out there go. hard, hard. They got really thick, beautiful women and really good weed. Really good weed. You know? I like, I like good weed. I think everybody yeah. at Irby Grand. Okay, I about this. I know you like the weed. <laughs> all right, so Mike Terror, obviously, you know, hustle. Real quick, where can everybody find you if they can't? Um. Well, world star, obviously, but outside of world star, um, at Hustle Simmons on Twitter, Instagram, not Facebook. It's a creep nigga named Hustle Simmons on Facebook. It's like an old nigga, like it ain't me. Catfish, <laughs> cat, you just got catfish. Yeah. Nah, like this nigga be out there. This nigga be out here really thinking he Hustle Simmons, but nah, just catch me on Twitter and on uh, Instagram, man. You can catch me at a Mike Terra show. Um, yeah. So much right, Mike Terra. Where can where can everybody find it's Mike Terra? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Where can everybody find Mike Terror? Uh, at Mike the Terrible on Twitter. Uh, 
Google, mic terror, everything will pop up. And if any, do you work with, uh, you know, unsigned artists and, and, and developing artists? Do you, are, are you still out there with? Yeah, I'm definitely, we doing that with um, Treated Crew. That's like um, artist collective, all types of artists, producers, DJs, other artists. What's up? That's that's what's up. No, honestly, thank you so much for taking the time out for Urban Grind TV. Obviously, with Hustle, you know, we're, we're, we're making some moves. And uh, where can everybody, what can everybody be expecting from you next? I got a new single called Wicker Park coming out soon. Is it based on this Wicker Park, Chicago? Yes, yeah. this Wicker Park. This is real Chicago-ish. Everybody will like it. Yeah. All right, check, uh, check that out. Mike Terra, thank you so much. Urban Grind TV. You better go follow him right now because I'm about to download the, the, the singles and do everything. Shout out to Hustle Simmons, Urban Grind TV. Do you want to flex like me? Do you want to floss like me? Do you want to shine like me? Do you need to grind like me? We gon' flex a little bit. What's up everybody, it's your girl Kiana. I'll be performing December 12th at Bridge South High School in Richland Park alongside my boy Michi performing my new single Flex a Little Bit. Come out, turn up, bring everybody, you do not want to miss this event. I ain't been out in a minute, never been off over here. You be finessing boy, you make a girl turn up up in here. I'm Judy Sertan, an advocate against bullying. In a survey conducted between fourth and sixth graders, one in four students reported they have been the target of bullying for more than a week. This affects children. They can become unproductive, depressed, develop suicidal thoughts, and in extreme cases, commit the act. Bullying is a concept which parents, educators, and society must have low tolerance for. For further information concerning bullying, visit my website at candiceh.com. What up, y'all? I'm the pride of the east side DJ MH Tudor, the official DJ for UGTV. Give you guys a little bit about me. I'm a stack of star DJ, I'm a soul selected DJ, and I'm also the official DJ for UGTV's own Mellow the Truth. Get at me for all your clubs, mixtapes, private events, djmhtutter at gmail.com. That's djmh, the number two, da at gmail.com. For all your studio time, music videos, event coverage, get at us at UGTV. djmhtutter, let's go. Flex like me.
me? Do you wanna floss like me? Do you wanna shine like me? Do you need to grind like me? We gon' flex a little bit, shine a little bit, shine a little bit. We gon' dance a little bit, we gon' rap a little bit. Watch me rip a little bit, we gon' want a little bit. Everybody wanna rap like me, flow like me. Hey, boy, tell me what's up with it. with it I'm looking for something new, new. Let's get on one, two, step on Boy, show me what to do I ain't been out in a minute Never been off over here You be finessing, boy You make a girl turn you up in here Shout out Bob Smurl, what up, sound Watch me do the turn of it So rock from left to right But watch me do it with no hand Turn it up a little more Whole vibe is just dope Face speed and I feel it, Joe Gon' let it beat some more we gon' dance a little bit, we gon' bop a little bit Watch me rip a little bit, we gon' want a little bit Everybody wanna rock like me, flow like me Fuck it all like me, really rock like me Heating up, body rockin', we gon' burn it up, yeah DJ turn it up, we could turn up if you wanna, wanna. We just right here for the moment. Oh, moment Don't waste no time, you could be mine Show me how much that you want it You make baby girl be so honest You so flat boy, no need for fun I'm just out here trying to get it You just don't know how I'm living Nothing's ever easy or just good We gon' dance a little bit We gon' bop a little bit Watch me rip a little bit We gon' want a little bit Everybody wanna rock like me, flow like me, fuck it out like me, it's me, really rock like me. I had to spot with my homie, all the love shorties be young me. I know she feel on my dad, and she know I'm checking the bag. Run through a check so I flex, yeah it's my time I got next. Ain't got no time for that stress, don't believe me go ask my ass. We turn up and dab to the left. We teed and we dab to the right. So you know I want right, so she left. So I sexy walk with someone there. Cause you know I ain't taking no L. I stay rocking design the bell. And you know that I'm popping in here. Growing them, they be popping in here. We gon' dance a little bit. We gon' rap a little bit. Watch me rip a little bit. We gon' want a little bit. Everybody wanna rap like me. Flow like me. Fuck it out like me. Really rap like me. We gon' dance a little bit. Dance a little we gon' bop a little bit Watch me whip a little bit We gon' quant a little bit Everybody wanna rock like me Flow like me Fuck it out like me Nelly rock like me You're watching New GHTV Urban Grind TV, I am here with the legendary Andrew Barber from Fake Short Drive. What's up? How you doing? Thank you so much for taking the time out for Urban Grind TV. Oh, Obviously, no, no. you are Chicago. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show a lot of love to UGTV because uh, way back in the day, like when we were first starting out, they gave me like a whole show one time. It was like a whole hour segment. And so much love to UGTV. I still watch the show. I do catch it all the time. I watch it on TV. Shout out to Wally, too. No, Wally, Wally's the homie, man. Man, shout out to Wally, man. Yeah. Congrats. How long has UGTV been around? Urban Grind TV is seven years? Six, seven, seven years. years? Okay, cool. So pretty much like close. We're, we're at eight now, eight years. And, you know, these are like dog years. Movie right. industry years are pretty much like dog years. So right. It feels like 30 years. Right, right. But, yeah, but shouts to UGTV. Right. And these late night shows, they get us gray hairs and stuff like that. You just can't see oh, them right no, now. I know. It's crazy. It's crazy. But, you know, you got to do it. I mean, you guys do a lot of good stuff for the local artists and the independent artists in the city. So As you, very, as do you. Needed. As do you. So tell me a little bit of, I mean, obviously you've been, um, you know, Fake Shore Drive has been a staple in Chicago, in the Chicago, especially Chicago music scene for such a long time. Tell me about how you came up with the idea to go ahead and get it started. Well, you know, I think they say, well, at least I've read that every great entrepreneur or whatever uh, finds a, a hole or a gap or something that's missing and then tries to fix it or try to put something in that place. And that's kind of what we do with Fake Shore Drive. Because at the time, you know, the Chicago scene hadn't really come online yet. It was still very... Um, CD oriented it was still very you know selling CDs out of the trunk still trying to you know do it the old-fashioned way which is all fine and dandy and still some people still do that but it hadn't really come online yet digitally so it was like when I was trying to tell people about 
fake short drive and what my goal was, people thought I was like insane. People thought I was crazy. They were like, what? You want me to give my music away for free? You want, you want to? They didn't get it. And it took a while. And people just, you know, thought I was completely crazy. They didn't get it, but... You know, we started building a house brick by brick, and eventually, you know, we we got a house now. So. I mean, it makes sense. It makes it's, it makes so much sense now. It took and a while. it took a long time, but it was a you know, it was a lot of work and a lot of late nights, a lot of sacrifice. But I'm I'm just so happy that it's you know we're still around. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, today obviously we're here at Leaders. Um, I mean, you you had the opportunity to sit next to Jadakiss and really ask him the the deep down questions. And I was just uh, you know talking to Hustle Simmons, telling him how great it is that he engaged with the, the with the audience and and really got to talk to uh, the city of Chicago. Um, obviously, you've been in the game for quite some time. He's been in, in the game for. How do you feel that it's changed? Been in the game a lot longer than me, but <laughs> um, but I think um, I think just a, what what we saw tonight. A lot of times when I'm asked to do these things, the the artists, you know, they want to do a couple questions and then they want to get out of here. You know, they, they want to go out the back door. They don't want to sit and talk and chat. But he, he took a picture with everybody that wanted to take a picture with him. He shook everybody's hand. He answered every question that people threw out there, which is amazing. You don't see that that often. But I think that's a testament to why he's still around, why he's still relevant, why he's still on a major le uh, label and can still bring, you know, so there was probably 100 people in there. You know, so it, a little packed, but but it was all worth it. It was all worth. Oh, it was great, and it was great. So, I think a lot of you know my advice for a lot of the young artists who kind of get caught up in, you know, the celebrity of it and the Hollywoodness of it, which is all fine and dandy. I mean, there there is a part of that that a, a it's role, fun. It's fun. But it's you kind of you kind of have to play that role. I get it, but he did a really good job of of showing an example of hey, look, this is what you should do. You should get out there and, you know, shake shake hands, kiss babies, do that whole thing. Yeah, so, no. And you know what? Uh, one of the things, too, is obviously Fake Short Drive started. Chicago has such a huge hip-hop. Like, and, and even outside of just that, you know, Jadakiss was talking about how uh, hip-hop has evolved and changed over the years as well. Um, what do, how do you feel about hip-hop today and how it's kind of, you know, you? it's nice to hear J Jadakiss' new music and it still has that lyricism and that uh, content and that, you know, the story behind it where so many of today's artists are just kind of like skipping the story right, and just right. doing the one-two yeah. hooks, you know? Right. What do you feel about that? Um, you know, I, I feel like we have the, these... Every few years, there's like an argument. It's like old versus new, and like, oh, they, you know, a lot of people can't let go of what happened in the '90s or what happened. Hip hop is dead. Yeah. But people were saying hip hop is dead in like 1991. There are, if you go back, like, artists were clowning hip hop and saying it was dead even in the early '90s. So it's never, it's never gonna die. It just evolves, and it changes. And I think, um, you know, he he gave a good example. It's like a Ferris wheel. It keeps going on. It keeps going around and around. Some people get off, some new people get on. It's just it's just always evolving and changing, and you kind of got to get with the times. But I, I love it what's happening. You know, I love you know that era, but I love what's happening now. And you know, it's 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 a different time. You have to innovate, but it's also a lot easier for people to get in the game and be successful. You know, now you can you know you can make a a, a, a song from a laptop in your grandmother's living room and then film a video and then you know lead up to a eventually get a a, a record deal, but. You know, back then you couldn't do that. It cost a lot. It was a lot more expensive to get in the game. So, you know, there's pros and cons to both eras. But hey, you know, you either adapt or you die. Right, right. Exactly. Exactly. And I think that that's what the longevity of, you know, his career represents. Because it's not necessarily he's he's brought in some new sounds and some and some mixed sounds. And I think that's great. Now, obviously, um, you know, Fake Shore Drive is such a staple in this in in Chicago. You know, so many Chicago artists that I know are always dying to get onto fake shore drive as i mean you i mean honestly and what is it in specifics that fake shore drive looks for when it comes to you know up and coming artists you know when we're looking for talent um we're looking for people that are different that are original that have a unique sound i mean you know i think now everybody wants to sound like Future and there's a lot of people that want to sound like Chance the Rapper and a lot of people like after Keith came out everybody wanted to sound like Keith. Um, I, th I don't really I don't really like the stuff that's really generic because you have those people already. We don't need a better version. Tons of, tons of them. We don't even need a better version of that. We don't need a lesser version of that. You know, just be original and, 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 and really focus on your craft and just try to do different things. You know, I think a lot of people get caught up in just trying to follow the trend. And I, I look for people that are 
trying to set trends. And that's not always the case, but you know, I think a lot of times, and we've, we've had good experience with spotting people with that it factor that you can say, okay, this person can go. But at the end of the day, hard work trumps all and you know, you want us to be chasing you. Like my thing is whenever I meet an, a rapper and I hear about them, like I just hear it on the radio or I hear somebody else playing it and I go, I gotta find, I gotta meet this person. That's what I like. You know, it's good to be have people reach out, but it, it should be us chasing you, not the art, not not vice versa. Yeah, because let me tell you, artists out there. I mean, you can have, like you said, you can have the the fixated, uh, you know, the big cars and and yeah. and all of that. But your network is your net worth. So you know, uh, right here, Urban Grind TV. Yeah. Obviously, I mean, like Andrew Barber's doing a great job with Fake Shark Drive. Where can where can I mean? If somebody wanted their stuff on Fake Shark Drive, are you accepting, are, is, are you always accepting? Definitely, always. I mean, we're always looking for new talent because, you know, talent evolves, it changes. Every every couple of years, it's gonna be a new crop of people and, you know, we're always looking for the next best thing. And, and you know, please submit. You know, I don't, can't get around to everything, uh, but definitely hit us on, you know, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, fake short drive at gmail.com or just come to one of the events we're doing events all the time you know we, we partner with red bull to do these sound select shows we do them every couple months uh you know we got a radio show now on shade 45 uh sirius xm every sunday night uh 11 p.m through 1 a.m uh cst so tune in we're playing the best music in the midwest people that aren't getting played on the radio here or anywhere else are getting played on the show and it's a nationally syndicated satellite radio show. I mean, Shade, uh, isn't that, uh, that's Eminem. Yeah, we're on, we are on Eminem's uh, 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 Sirius XM station. We just got picked up full time, so we have a full time show. We are moving. In Lexington. We're going, so, you know, check that out if you do have it. We're on every Sunday, you know, we got Ty from Fake Shore Drive, he's DJing, and then we book guest DJs from around the region every week. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time oh, out for oh, Urban pleasure. Grind. I always have time for Urban Grind, so thank you guys for having me. I, I no, no, thank you so much. And, you know, once again, you know, continues to sex. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah. What's up, what's up? This is Andrew Barber. You're now tuned in to Urban Grind TV. Check it out. Do you want to flex like me? Do you want to floss like me? Do you want to shine like me? What's up everybody, it's your girl Kiana. I'll be performing December 12th at Bridge South High School in Richmond Park alongside my boy Michi performing my new single Flex a Little Bit. Come out, turn up, bring everybody, you do not want to miss this event. I ain't been out in a minute, never been off over here You be finessing boy, you make a girl turn up up in here OrangeMixtapes.com Hey, what it do? This your boy OJ the Jew, man. I want to give a shout out to EarnMixtape.com Yeah, what's happening, man? Scott ATL in the building. Shout out to OrangeMixtapes.com OrangeMixtapes.com Young World, what's poppin', man? It's Rocky Diamonds. OrangeMixtapes.com Go get your latest mixtapes, man. Yeah! OrangeMixtapes.com MH Tutter, the pride of the east side, DJ slash host for Urban Grind TV. Got my own segment of the show right now called The Booth, and we get some of the hardest artists in the city to come through, and they spit that fire inside of here. If you want to be a part of the show, go to UrbanGrindTV.com and click on The Booth. DJ MH Tutter, that's how we do it. Let's go, Shot Town, stand up.
Yo, this wild style, whipping up my new album, The Concoction. Metaphysic, I'm only here for a visit. Been up in the lab, experimenting. It's been a minute before I begin it. I'm ready to end it with a bang. No, it ain't a theory. I'm bringing a fury in the flame like a sharpshooter. Period. Featuring a crucial conflict. Shoot of hell. Danny Boy and Hearthstone. Get down the position. It ain't gonna be no missing when I aim. One shot, one kill. That's all I need. Y'all gon' and I'm up with the flow. The vocal calico. I'm an animal. Fire you bring a Hannibal. I'm a cannibal. Wicked with the mechanical slim like a piano. We're about to blow out your candle. We'll hit him like a soprano. I got him on every channel. They old news. I'll be with my new. But I'm old school. Available at WildStyleMusic.com, iTunes, Google Play, or wherever you purchase your digital music. Support the grind. November 2015, you dig? On Gladiator Empire. Back in this motherfucker. Representing for infamous fucking crew. No we call the cyborgs. Fucking dystopians. Kept the shit up, we thought you would My name is Novator. I'm a hardcore hip hop artist from the South Side of Chicago. Hardcore hip hop uh, to me is like the way the beats sound, the delivery, the content, you know. The music I make isn't really talking about cars and money and all that. You know, I do a lot of death, death rap shit, so it's like just talking about violence basically. <laughs> yeah, my songs are like horror movies basically. I grew up listening to like a lot of shit my dad played for me, which is like No Limit, you know, Master P. Uh, he played a lot of freestyle Chicago house stuff too. And then, yeah, by the time I got into high school, I was getting into punk and metal, like listening to nothing but punk and metal. And then someone turned me on a Circle of Tyrants, which were like all New York based MCs were like into hip hop and metal. And they were dope, so that pretty much got me to want to make hip hop music. But yeah, I played in black metal bands, punk bands. When I played in bands, I first started out singing because uh, it was the easiest thing to do right off the gate. And then uh, I eventually started playing a little bit of bass, a little, little bit of guitar, but I wasn't too good. And then uh, I landed on drums, stuck with that for a while. Always doing vocals though. I play drums and vocals at the same time. I got into rap basically like, I had always been writing since I was a little kid when I was into rap. Um, 
I really never stopped being into rap, but I was just preoccupied with metal bands, punk bands. And then uh, my little brother wanted to rap. And I was like, oh, let's start a group together. And uh, we just started messing around to random ass beats on SoundCloud. And then I basically just kept pursuing it. Put out an EP called Suicide by Radio. Uh, you can find that on iTunes or uh, you can find it on my Bandcamp, which is infamouscrew1.bandcamp.com. Okay, uh, I got the name Suicide by Radio for the EP just from being in the car and hearing shitty ass music. That basically made me want to kill myself. Yeah, what I plan to do next is release an LP. Uh, it's going to be self-titled, probably like 11, 12 tracks or something. I've been working on it. It's almost really done now. Um, you know, keep playing shows. Uh, I've played at the Abbey Pub. I played at Mojo's out in Joliet. I played in local dive bars, shitholes, basements, anywhere. Uh, what makes me unique as an artist is that I don't really give a fuck. We play live shows. They're, it's basically like going to a punk show when I play when I play shows. The difference between a punk and a hip hop show is uh, punk shows people just basically go crazy, mosh pitting, fighting, screaming, all types of dirty shit. Yeah, so I'm trying to keep it grimy. Man, you can just Google Novator Hip Hop. You'll find my YouTube videos. I got three videos out right now. Oh, I got a video for a song called Laced Up. I got a video for a song called Vengeance and one for a video called Slaughter. And uh, yeah, I got my music, uh, infamouscrew1.bandcamp.com. Uh, you can find my Instagram at novator underscore cyborg. And uh, Twitter is novator too. So yeah, uh, the most recent video I did is for a song called Laced Up. And it's basically the storyline is I'm killing people for this dude who's hosting these weird sex parties where people like want to eat human flesh so my girlfriend volunteered for me to kill her with a butcher knife and then I strangled my roommate with a rope and basically shows me slicing their body up and feeding it to people hey, it's your boy Novator and you're watching Urban Grind TV I'm Judy Sertan an advocate against bullying in a survey conducted between fourth and sixth graders, one in four students reported they have been the target of bullying for more than a week. This affects children. They can become unproductive, depressed, develop suicidal thoughts, and in extreme cases, commit the act. Bullying is a concept which parents, educators, and society must have low tolerance for. For further information concerning bullying, visit my website at CandiceH.com. What up, y'all? I'm the pride of the east side, DJ M.H. Tudor, the official DJ for UGTV. Give you guys a little bit about me. I'm a stack of star DJ, I'm a soul selected DJ, and I'm also the official DJ for UGTV's own Mellow the Truth. Get at me for all your clubs, mixtapes, private events, djmhtutter at gmail.com. That's djmh, the number two, da at gmail.com. For all your studio time, music videos, event coverage, get at us at UGTV. djmhtutter, let's go. One fire to block. Better late than never. Let's go. I just dumb my bitch. I think I need another. Need okay. another. But I would never save her. I'm not Danny Glover. Danny Glover. Nah. Top off of that phone. Know them seats is butter. Sure. Sure. Even though that pussy good, man, I will never cuff her. Nah, nah, nah. Bored up drunk as fuck, I'm double cupped, I be off two fifths Yo bitch hit my line, she on my line, she want some new dick Walk inside the club, 20 of us, you gon' need two fifths Racks on top of racks, it's sacking up, it look like two fifths TGMG, bet the house all on me, you should gon' put your money down 
trying to get features from niggas, but niggas still give me the run around. Give me the what? I take shit to hard. Fuck you and your squad. I'ma start acting funny now. Squad. The 40 or 30, but you run up on me, you gon' catch a honey brand. This bitch, I'm throwing money round, and we gon' stand on the couch. Give a fuck about your feelings. I ride through the city to change like I'm titty. Two bitches with me, panoramic on shillings. Hit the gas on 40 yards, we spilling. I'm a side on these verses, I'm killing. Hit her once, some type of way she be feeling. Finesse in that check, she invest in the shipment. She stripping something, dollars came with it. Robin jeans with the wings, got me flying in the pigeon. Brian in the foreign cop pulled up, sipping with a 20 year old yellow bone, Mark Simpson. Nigga, freaking heat like a motherfucking kitchen. All my niggas doing drills like a motherfucking dentist. Sending six shots, all the motherfuckers hit them in the y'all headshots. Ain't no motherfuckers flip. Okay. This ain't no Twitter or Instagram, but all these bitches gon' follow me. Gon follow they jockin', they jockin', take niggas to Kinko's the way that they copy me. Designer on top of me, man, I'm fresher than baby powder. I did not father her kids, but I came in the face and gave that bitch a baby shower. I give her the dick and I stretch a bitch out like I mixed it with bacon powder. But no trusting the bitch, not even your BM, gotta make sure that baby's ours. And I'm not letting up, I'ma spray every day, do away with you fucking cowards. And I murdered this beat, bingo bitch, and wear these cemeteries to hurt some flowers. Niggas talk, but they ain't popping off. I got a navy, but my top is lost. She fucked me good before she topped me off, and she did. Throwing dick, it ain't no stopping calls. Yes. And I got bitches turning into thoughts. And I got homies turning into ops. How you a killer, never sending shots? How you a dealer, never been on blocks? How? How? Let's go, man. Some light. Better late than never, man. Coming soon, man. Y'all already know what this is. Shit, 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 shit. Two bitches. Turn into targets, you can find them on the markets where I'm lost and off the 